Starting to see a shaky camera in Richmond, also with a few raindrops on it. So Irma's rain band finally making it into Kentucky, our southern counties first, and then eventually the bluegrass as we get a little bit later on this evening, early tomorrow, and then it's just waiting for the storm to eventually move on out. A look outside on our camera, and there you go. It's a little hazy, a little breezy. The storm is here. Good news is the further it gets to us, the more it weakens, and that is key for us just getting the rain and wind, but not quite or definitely nowhere near what Florida has had to deal with over the weekend. Sorry about the temperatures right now. Low 60s, upper 50s, right in the bluegrass, and you get further south, and you're seeing mid-50s. Uh, temperatures back by about 7 degrees for London, Somerset, and Monticello. That's where the heaviest of the rain is likely sitting or has been sitting. Everybody else at or just a little bit below from this time yesterday. It's just been this, cloud coverage all day, very gloomy. But when you look at the extent of the storm, I mean, it stretches all the way from still, even in the Gulf of Mexico, up into Canada. Center of circulation is roughly just off to the south of Atlanta and will continue on its north-northwest path as it uh, gets a little bit closer to us. Now a tropical depression, though, weakening. That wasn't supposed to happen until sometime in the afternoon yeah, tomorrow. So it's weakening very quickly, and that, of course, is good news. By the time it gets to us, it will likely just be a post-tropical low. It will no longer be known as Irma at that point. It just becomes what used to be, the remnants of Irma at that scenario. So low in Paducah, we'll get the rain from it as we put the future track into play. It's going to be in band. It's not going to be all constant throughout the next few days, which is also good for us. It's going to keep the flooding scenario down. But you will notice light to moderate with a few scattered showers of heavy rain mixed in for everyone throughout the next day or so into Wednesday as well. We'll see the low start to push north and east, so that kind of brings the rain with it. So a secondary shot getting into Wednesday evening. And then by Thursday, that's really about it. Clouds start to decrease as high pressure continues to build in, push the storm along. And as far as how much rain we could be getting out of this thing, eh, maybe an inch, inch and a half, two inches at best. For the bluegrass, further south you go a little bit more, but either way, the most we could probably see is maybe three inches of localized heavy rainfall. And that's pushing it. So nothing as far as flood category goes, although minor streams and creeks, poor drainage areas, Flood-prone areas probably might get a little bit of something. Peak wind tomorrow, especially in the morning. We'll see those wind gusts get up to about 30, 35 miles per hour. That's about the strength of a typical thunderstorm. So really nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe a few branches down here and there. Winds do come down as we get into Wednesday, and then the storm moves on. So we're right back to just a benign weather pattern. Just high pressure building in. Medium threat for flash flooding and damaging wind. Everything else non-existent. So we will stay at that zero for a severe threat index. Not quite finished with the tropics. Remember Jose? Remember how that one was supposed to go to Bermuda and basically fizzle out? Well, it just kind of got bumped by high pressure. And basically what that means is it's going to spin in the Atlantic in the cooler waters of the upper Atlantic for at least a day or so. And then as it eventually makes its way through, by the time we get into the weekend, we may have to start thinking about another U.S. landfall hurricane. Still very early. That's a long ways out. So... Still some time to brace for it, but at least it's something to keep an eye on for the next few days. For us, it's all rain. And temperatures well below seasonal average. Keep in mind, we typically get to 82 in the afternoons. We're going to be barely struggling to get to 70 for the next few days. Into 80-degree territory, though, by Saturday with plenty of sunshine coming back. A very nice-looking weekend. And then we get back to a more typical summertime weather pattern with showers and thunderstorms coming in from Monday. More LEX 18 news after the break.